Welcome back Guardians, let's jump straight into today's video and in this video I wanted to talk about a touch of Malice 2.0 So a little while ago there was a Game Informer article talking about the raid and the process of designing the raid and it was an interview so they were asking questions and one of the questions was specifically in Kings 4 you also had what felt to me like a conscious decision to implement a weapon that you were trying to get. With Touch of Malice, once you had it, that fundamentally made the encounter easier. I'm curious about the mindset behind that. What did you ultimately like after the fact now you liked that structure? So basically they're saying, did you like the fact that you implemented the Touch of Malice by collecting these Calcify Fragments, putting a lot of work and effort into unlocking this gun, which made the raid completely simple? And the reply was, I think that just made getting it really meaningful once you went through the effort and you felt like it was worth it, it had a really powerful impact and it didn't really pollute the rest of the sandbox or the rest of the game. So basically it made the encounter of the raid incredibly easy, but it didn't ruin PvP or strikes or anything like that. So it was something that you worked really hard for and was rewarded in a specific way by making the raid encounter easier without ruining the rest of the game. It was okay to have something in that sandbox, in that context that was radically overpowered, that didn't destroy PvP and didn't make the rest of the game trivial. I considered it a win. So when they say something like the rest of the game trivial, you're looking at something like the Galahorn from year one that just destroyed the game because you could just do anything simple. And then the interviewer followed up with, so would you avoid doing that again? And the reply was, no, I don't think so. I mean, it's better than the player that goes through all the effort to get some exotic weapon and it just feels like, eh. So they would add another weapon like the Touch of Malice if it felt like it was a good investment of time and effort and you're rewarded with an overpowered weapon that doesn't destroy the rest of the game, it just improves one section of it. And that's ultimately what the Touch of Malice was. And throughout the Touch of Malice quest, you had to collect calcified fragments. You had to collect them to finish the quest. So you had to go search the Dreadnought. You had to go and do all the Court of Auric stuff. You had to put a lot of time, effort and work into getting this weapon. Now, when we look at something like Rise of Iron, this could also be the case because we have seen Dormant Seaver clusters and they do look very familiar to what Calcified Fragments were. In the strike that I played, the Wretched Eye, we found one of these Dormant Seaver clusters and it was attached to the back of like a TV screen in a random room that you don't even really need to visit. So they're hidden out of the way, they're stuck behind things, they're not just on show. And that's very much how the calcified fragments were too. So would or could the Siva clusters equal a new exotic weapon would you have to collect them as part of a quest or you know the addition to a quest like the calcified fragments were but i'm under the impression and this is totally just my mindset it's not proven it's my theory they're dormant siva clusters dormant means they're inactive they're not working so in my mind i feel we have to collect these clusters take them to some sort of NPC like the gunsmith and he will power them up and make them work and if you collect a bunch of them I feel like you could take them and improve a weapon or an armor somehow by making it Siva infused because it goes with the fallen enemies that take the Siva technology and infuse it into themselves to change how they are and how they work what abilities they have it makes them stronger so I would like to see that implemented in that way but I also wouldn't be unhappy if it was to get some sort of specific exotic that might make the raid easier with the hope that it doesn't ruin the rest of the game. It worked, it was good, it was successful. So why would you change it? So maybe they're bringing it back in the same method where you just collect them and it adds up towards a quest. Or maybe they've used the same mechanics of going around collecting fragments to then have them work in a different way like powering up something. So maybe you have like a whole quest line where you get the very base weapon and you have to level it up. You have to keep, you know, making it more and more powerful by doing quests, by doing bounties, by using it in the raid in some way, shape or form. And once you get it to its complete peak, then you use the dormant Siva clusters to power it up to be this beast exotic, which absolutely destroys in the raid. That is what I would love to see these Siva clusters be used for. But what do you guys think? Do you think there's a possibility they could ever do a Touch of Malice 2.0? How do you think they would do it? Do you think it would be collecting fragments? Do you think they might have another idea? Let me know down in the comments what you think. 
Thank you for watching. I have been easy now and you guys have been awesome. And what would be awesome is if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and of course that like button. You help me out so much with your support. I love you all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.